What's up, y'all? I've been getting a lot of requests on how I build my Meta Ads interest audiences, also called detailed targeting audiences. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I build out different interests. Uh, I'm going to start out with an emo slash hardcore audience that someone asked for. Um, there's a few other uh, audiences as well that I will build. Um, but to start out, let's start out with the with an email audience. First, go to create audience. Then this is going to be a saved audience. This is where our where the interest audiences are found. And I'm going here and just call it emo. Then you're going to want to pop down here uh, into add demographics and interests. Um, before I hop in here, really, what happens next is all right. What what type of interest do I need to type in here that will reflect this email audience? The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of email is email band. So I'm going to Google top 10 uh, email bands of all time. And boom, here we go. We have a bunch of email bands and now we're going to start typing these in to the audience manager. So we have my chemical romance. And some will start popping up. Paramore, Panic at Disco, Fallout Boy, Blink Way Two. Don't really think email. Near to Green Day, All Time Low, um, Day to Remember, Taking Back Sunday for sure, Brand New for sure. Um, let's see. I don't know the Warp Tour necessarily. Not everyone there is email. Let's go back here. Uh, Jimmy World. world the used Let's see what else they got all time low simple plan good charlotte simple plan charlotte and we're on a solid around 14 million people. If you're targeting emo people, you're, you're probably going to want this not to be a huge audience. Like, uh, this is like a specific type of person. So I'm thinking 15, 14 to 30 million max is probably what we're going to be. Uh, I think sleeping with sirens fits in the, in here. Uh, I think death cab for cutie was one dashboard confessional. See what other ones we got in here that could fall in. Modest Mouse, I don't really think so. Um, emo music, boom. And that was the last one that I, I was going to type in next. Would just be typing in actual, the actual word that you're looking for. So emo, emo music. Um, and that gets us around 16 million. Emotion, obviously, is the full form. But this is when you get into really, really big audiences. And that's when you kind of lose the high quality and valuable people. When you start going really broad, emotion could just mean a million things. It could be happy emotions, sad emotions, whatever, anger, right? So we're looking for emo as in sad, um, as in like that type of people who like that type of music. So, but I'm just, as an example, look, if we click on that, it just brings us to way above 80 million people. That is when you want to delete it. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, an email audience. Then I go up here and type in just how much it is. So 16 million people and boom. So there's the first one email audience done. Uh, now let me see what other audiences that people wanted me to do. Uh, sleep issues or insomnia. So let's see what we can get with this one. Um, sleep is we'll just call it insomnia plus sleep issues. And yeah, so literally we're going to type in insomnia to start off. Um, insomnia movie. Nope. Events. Nope. 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 So basically what happened, meta took away a lot of like distinct medical problem characteristics. So you couldn't, so pharma companies couldn't just straight come after you. So we're going to have to get creative and figure out how to target insomnia people. So we're going to just go to like sleep. So sleep human psychology. Let's see how big this goes. 50 million. A little too much for my liking, but let's just see what else they suggest. Sleeping positions. Now, this is a big one. Sleeping positions would be anyone who's 
going on blogs or websites of how to sleep better or, or, or sleep longer, right? This is what we're looking for. Four million people, very nice niche audience. Nap, this is another one. People figuring out how to nap more. Um, sleep, again, that's one we already did. Dream, not really much. Um, quality of life, let's see, let's see how big that one takes us. All right, again, too much, so we don't want that one. Moving down here, if there's anything else. Well-being, that's probably too big of one. Let's just type in sleep again and see what pops up. Sleep technician, the science of sleep movie. Okay, now we're getting better. That's another one where, well, and then, then look, so I don't actually know what the science of sleep is, so now I'm gonna type into here what the science of sleep is and make sure that it is a relevant interest. Okay. Soon after the death of his father, a distraught young man begins a job. His intense dream overtake his life. So this is actually a, a, a fiction romance movie. So we're actually going to take that one out. So you can get duped. So make sure you, you do your research. And this is literally part of my process. So, okay, we're not doing that one. It sounded good. I thought it was like a documentary, but we were wrong. So uh, let's see what else. Sleep and breathing. Human psychology. This is where we want to be. Now we're at 6 million. So look at how niche this is and how specific it is. So now let's go down, see if there's any other sleep stuff. But I'm pretty happy with this um, right now. Um, sleep experts, home furnishings. It's another one. Then 6.7 million. Didn't make it go up too much. And... Let's just see anything else in here. Maybe there's like sleeping, sleeping in, sleeping with the enemy. Okay, no. Then let's just see any other, um, anything else that, um, okay, so now we're going to back check this. So we have about 6 million people in here. This seems like a legit audience. Now, how do we know this audience size is legit? Now we're going to Google um, how many people in the United States have insomnia? And this will give us a good idea if we're on the right track here. How many people in the U.S. have insomnia? Okay, so now it's, it's saying nearly 70 million have a sleep disorder. Okay, so and then it's between people actually how how intense is the insomnia, right? So that's where things get a little iffy where these are probably going to be the most um, people who have the most problems. So what I'll call us is, we'll call it the niche interest. And this will be the small version. And then we're gonna retype these ones in and we're gonna make a large interest. So let's copy these. And then we'll make an insomnia uh, or sleep issue. Insomnia plus sleep issues, broad interest. So this is going to be the, the broad one where we try to encapsulate that like 70 million people. And sometimes you want to start with this. Start with saying, hey, how many people have this issue? Um, how many people have pain or have pain or back problems, right? So you can kind of get that number ahead of time and then um, reverse engineer it in the interest audience. So um, now we're going to try and... So we just copy, oh, copy and paste. It. Sometimes drags in random ones here. Um, so we have sleep breathing, sleep experts, sleeping positions, and then nap. And then we're gonna type in sleep here and sleep human psychology. Oops, let's see what other ones they have. Sleeping ban, sleeping employers, sleeping fields of study, sleep over, popular culture. I won't say that is, but let's see. Um, sleep human psychology. Well, even add in tired here. Oh, see, look, you can't target tired. It's a little bit too specific, right? So now we're at 54 million. So this would be the broad interest, 54 million. And I would probably, depending on what your budget is and what your product is, um, I would, if it's a smaller budget, I would probably start with this smaller, more intense audience. If it's a very specific product for people who have intense sleep problems, then I probably would start with the smaller interest. But if it is a more broader product, um, 
then I would tar probably go after the insomnia sleep issues broad interest, which is around 54 million, which is closest to um, the estimate over here about 70 million, nearly 70 million. So look, it says 50 to 70 million. So we're right, right in that range. Awesome. So now we have those ones done. I'm going to do one more for you guys. Let me see what else we have over here. see okay we have an outdoorsy granola girl so this could be an interesting one i've never really done this but um let's do it so outdoors granola girl so first we're going to start off with just women and so what was an outdoors granola girl like probably hiking and again, this is going to be really broad. So we'll probably start with the niche stuff. So hiking boot, people who are actually hardcore people. Everyone's gone on a hike, but not everyone has hiking boots, right? Not everyone uh, goes camping, right? So camping is probably another one, right? Maybe there's some camping interests. So we have camping outdoor activities. Let's see how big this one gets us. All right, 41 million. Uh, that's a little high for now. So we might come back to that one. Um, Hiking equipment, boom, there we go. That is an, um, another niche one. Backpacking, right? These are all granola ones. Again, adventure, this is too big. Camping is even too big, right? So backpacking might be a little much, but mountaineering, mountain climbing is probably one. Really granola-esque. Um, I guess that is, that is mountain climbing. Let's go back to hiking. Hiking trails, let's just see. That might make us overboard. 44 million, not necessarily. So um, we'll keep that in there. We're gonna, and then we're gonna uh, Google how many people camp or how many people are hikers per se. Hikers, we might even try like Erewhon, which isn't even necessarily hiking. Uh, REI, sporting goods, Let's say that one, 47 million. Let's see if any others, climbing, here we go. Climbing rock climbing this is all bouldering again these are all really nice interest free climbing um camping outdoors climbing magazine free solo climbing so this is all going to be really granola people backcountry again i don't know backcountry i think might be skiing so is this really granola i don't think so i think this is backcountry is skiing so let's see. Yep, this is skiing. So I wouldn't necessarily take that as granola. Um, North Face, these are all it's a little too. Patagonia, a little bit too much. Campsite, still a small interest. We like that. Tent camping. Um, and now we're getting up to the 65, 60 million people. So now I'm really kind of liking this where it is right now. I don't know if there's any more that um, we would do. The one other note, she said uh, outdoors. So outdoors is probably a big interest. Outdoor activities. Okay, so this is 15. So we like that. It's so around 60 million people. So let's just see how many people hike in the U.S. 60 million people. Whoa. Look how on point we we are with that. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and... That's really, that's really all I need. That means I'm freaking, we, we hit it. And this is, uh, you know, this is women only. So that's probably men and women. So maybe we want to take out, um, you know, some of these. Um, cause yeah, it actually is a little high. So again, I, I, I got a little hell ahead of myself. I'll probably take out REI. Um, some of these bigger ones we will take out and backpacking wilderness climbing free climbing hiking boot hiking equipment so this is the big one hiking trails wrong is it's down to like 50 million outdoors you know i'm pretty okay with this right here now um you know it is only women here but this is going to be probably the best you're going to get you could knock out some of these bigger ones but um, you're still going to want a little bit of a broad audience, uh, you know, still 50 million people. 
nowadays is considered small on meta. Everyone tells you to go broad, but if you have a very specific product with a specific customer, I definitely recommend you guys do interests. Let me know what audiences you guys want me to do next. I find these really fun to do and happy to do them for you guys. If you have any questions, hit the comments below. Uh, please share this, like this, subscribe. Would really appreciate it. I'm just really getting and starting my YouTube channel. So really appreciate you guys and take care.